Hello and welcome. I'm Anthony Hudson. Now it's time for Saturday afternoon football. Football back at Giant Stadium. Gary Lyon is with me today. Welcome, Gaz. Hi, Hutto. Today should be a good match. Well, today it's GWS Giants versus Essendon. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. GWS Giants run on to the roar of their fans. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. You're right, Hutto. The captains make their way into the middle for the toss. Essendon kicking to the right of screen. With only a few rounds remaining and even top four positions up for grabs, there's no better time to prove yourself than at this point of the season. If we look at the ladder, it's thrown up some surprises this season, and it's time for those sides to really prove themselves and lock in a finals position over the next few weeks. We're just moments away from the opening bounce. Jacob's got the tap. Up for grabs for Cornelio. Merrick there to mop up. He wins possession, hits the target by hand. Wins the race to the ball. Gets the handball away. Turned it over. Shield was taken high in the tackle. Shield has resources out wide. The umpire calls for it. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Thank you. Jacob gets it down. Fights the good fight. Williams uses it by foot. Picks up the loose ball quickly onto the boot. Taranto goes for broke. That kick was pure. Yes, I know. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. They draw first blood. Thump clear. The ball mopped up. Missed the target. Green wins it back. Himmelberg launches towards goal. So close, but just misses. GWS Giants by seven points. An easy grab for Gleason. Chose to kick it. Marks that ball uncontested. Mechanic drives the kick. A big contested grab. Merrick goes with the kick. Takes the mark. He drives it. Flew high, but didn't hold on. Stewart just too high with the tackle. Perryman moves it now. Scoops up the ball. Fantastic tackle. Merrick gains some territory. Now we'll get a ball up. One it down. Taranto hunting with authority. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. GWS Giants send one home. Cameron getting the crowd involved. The margin is 13. Jacob thumps it clear. Ball stripped in the tackle. And now Stewart. He can take off after that handball. Hopper contests the hard ball. Outstanding pressure. Applies a bump. 
Handball's under pressure. Slams it onto the booth. Can't take possession. Fantasia picks up the loose ball. And now we'll have a ball up. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Over the top of the pack. Uses it now. Gleeson takes the mark. Stabs at the kick. McGrath gets on the end of this. Puts it on the boot. Dug out the loose ball. McKenna elects to kick. Practicing some fancy moves. Green couldn't snaffle it. He might kick a goal. Narrowly misses there. Now they lead by 14. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Picked up by Townsend. Lloyd going for number one. His teammates rush over. That's three in a row for GWS Giants. GWS Giants by 20 points. Ball gets cut off. Sheridan receives the ball. Intercepts the ball well. Elects to kick. Smith wins the ball in the air. Uses it by foot. Goes for the goals. Goes off the deck and through. He's enjoying that goal. That's the first goal for Essendon. Tap down. Taranto onto the ball. Gives a don't argue. Puts foot to ball. Took his eyes off the ball. McGrath with the ball. Gained some territory. Just through the ball. Goal scoring opportunity for Green. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Moving on. He takes the shot. Hurley hangs onto that one. Sinks the slipper into it. Lloyd determined to reach the ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Cutler presents and takes the mark. Got the hands free. Makes it somebody else's problem. With the ball now. Sockers it forward. Merrick gets a quick kick away. Welfie has a great set of hands. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Just couldn't get up the curve enough. Essendon bring it back to under three goals. Plays onto himself. Davis puts it on the boot. He couldn't hang on. Merritt goes for goal. And pumps it through the big sticks. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Smiles all round. That's two in a row for Essendon. Essendon trailing, but they can easily catch up from here. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. One down. Heffel comes away with the ball. My ball, says the umpire. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Pushes through with power. Doesn't take the mark. Finding the loose ball was all. Finds the loose ball. Umpire calls for the ball. Tap came from Stewart. Welfie going for number one. Uses a short handball. He gains possession. Zaha Rakis just put it on the boot. Smooth couldn't stick the tackle on. GWS Giants are leading by seven as we go to the break. The Giants are up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time.
Anything you can see, Gary? Essendon are at least kicking accurate. We're ready for second quarter action. Guides it down. Is in his possession. Zaharak is short by hand. Marks now and can send it back. Moved on by Whitfield. Open opportunity for Williams. Got boot to ball. Doing well to intercept that kick. Almost cut it off. Puts on a bump. McKernan applying physical pressure. Essendon can work the ball with this free kick. McGrath did well to win that ball. GWS Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. The loose ball scooped up. The umpire will ball it up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Saar couldn't keep his hands on it. Lloyd dug out the loose ball. Gleason soccers it forward. Uses a short handball. Danaher has it. GWS Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Haynes sends it clear of the contest. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Kick by McGrath. A solid mark from Francis. Searches for a teammate downfield. A chance here to convert for Essendon. Big kick required from this distance. He decides to go for home. No issues with that drop punt. That's the first goal of the day for Danaher. He loved that one. Essendon looking to take the lead with the next one. He did really well there and gets the reward. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Essendon still trail, but at least they're taking their opportunities in front of goal. Thrashes it. Has it now. It's a turnover. Taken well at ground level by McGrath. Blasted inside the 50. Davis collects the loose ball. Stewart unable to lay the tackle. Langdon doesn't take the mark. Fantasia just goes bang. Green rushes with the kick. Out of bounds, right on the 50. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Williams kicks hurriedly. He gives chase to the footy. Snaffled up by Gleeson. Kicks out of the congestion. Green leaps over the top. Pumps the ball long. Takes that one strongly. Putting this one through would give GWS Giants plenty of confidence. Cameron gives it a ride. It's somehow pitched over the line, and it's a goal. Puts his second on the board. He celebrates hard after that. GWS Giants by seven points. This is how they can score, Big Hutter. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. GWS Giants are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they set up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Nice mark under pressure. Paris drives a low kick. Taranto wins the foot race. Sheridan is streaming past and gets the footy. Lloyd not wasting time. Alex to play on. Intercepted. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable effort, and it ends with a goal. Pretty happy with that one. GWS Giants starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 32 to 19. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal.
GWS Giants need to think more about the kick going forward. They're just bombing it in and it's getting cut off at the moment. Stewart just gets it out of the boot. Wealthy marks. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Parry's going for number one. The kick comes close, but is offline. Essendon, the margin, back within three goals. GWS Giants have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Corn heads long with that kick. Haynes marks in a bit of space. Taranto on the ball. Gleeson with quick hands. Stewart goes back to him. Gets the loose ball. McGrath shuts him down. Great tackling there, Hutto. Jacobs takes a strong mark. With a driving kick. It's a foot race to get this one. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Francis doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. The kick from Langdon. Now we will get a ball up. Punched away. Stewart there to mop up. Manufactures the handball. Slips the handball to Merritt. Gets a hand in. Puts it on the boot. Ball spills. Reed won himself a free. He goes it alone. Couldn't quite with the mark. Picked off by Sheridan. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. It's a three-goal lead to GWS Giants. Stewart gets onto the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Merritt brushed off easily. Holding the ball. All come. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The score. GWS Giants 38 to Essendon 20. GWS Giants have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Anything to add, Gaz? GWS Giants haven't been winning the ball as often around the contest, but it's what they're doing after the initial contest that sees them in the lead. Thank you very much, Gaz. We're so much on the line. On... We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Punches are clear. He's got the football now. A mark by Cameron. A chance to put one through here for the Giants. He drives it towards goal. Drop punt straight through the middle. They stretch their lead with that effort. They get around him after that effort. GWS Giants by four goals. Jacobs thrashes it. Just got the hands in the back there. Shield moves it now. Heffel gets the loose ball. Merritt collects it. Going for goal number two. Good mark and looks to send it back. Davis kicks it. A race for the loose ball. Zaharakis with the shot. Unable to put that one through. Essendon behind by 23. Looking to bring it back into play. Decides to play on. Looks to move it by foot. The mark is taken by Williams. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Hopper puts it on the boot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Plays on quickly. Does well to cut off the kick. Green kicks it to the square. A chance to gather the ball. Perryman can create on the turnover. Nice hands. Shipley hits inside 50. He gets above the crowd. McKenna uses it by foot. Heffel drives the kick. Takes a simple grab. 
GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Pretty lucky to get that free. Moves it by foot. Goes by foot. Spills the mark. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Uses it now. I hope that's not serious. He looks to be in a lot of pain. Gary, what do you think it is? Yeah, definitely something wrong here. He's trying to get off the ground as quick as he can. Sees it out of play. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Shipley was taken high in the tackle. Drops the mark. That ball comes off the post. 24 points the difference. Hurley deciding where to go with the kick in. Penetrating handball. Finds his man. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Jacobs won the hit out. Did well to control the ball. Needs a bit of a rest. Hopper just threw it. Looks up with the kick. A strong mark in the pack from Francis. He drives it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Works it from the back half. McKenna earns a free kick. Moves the ball by foot. He wins the ball in the air. Goes with the kick. A chance to reload the attack now. Green leading the ranking points on the ground. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Loy takes a strong mark. Looking to kick goal number two. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Going for goal number one. A great goal. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Congratulated by his teammates. GWS Giants have five unanswered goals. The margin is 30. Quick handball. Cameron links with a teammate who can run. Marks now and can send it back. The Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. McKenna hacking it out of there. Good mark and looks to send it back. Elects to kick. DeVore throws the ball away. Slick with the hands. McGrath receives again. He has to hold on to those. Gathers it now. Lloyd elects to kick. Got hands to it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hanno. He's gone missing lately. Saad kicks in heavy traffic. Off hands from Parrish. He can take off after that handball. Green failing to get near it, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Hooker slips high and gives away the free kick. Slams it on the boot. Intercepted by Green. Green throws the ball away. McKenna kicks it forward. Doing well to intercept that kick. Uses it by foot. They chase after the loose ball. Mops up the loose ball. Releases the handball. Linking by hand, McKernan rushes with the kick. He's missed it. The Bombers reduce the margin, looking for options now. How did you see the third term, Gas? GWS Giants will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Green leading the ranking points on the ground. He is doing everything right.
One quarter of footy to go. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Clears the contest. Takes possession. Opportunity for Shield. Danner just throw it. Green goes with the kick. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Danner gains possession. Danner throws the ball away. Stands tall and marks. Opportunity once again for GWS Giants to put one through. They can take the sting right out of the game here. Ward going for number one. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. This kick puts them further into the lead. He's enjoying that goal. Thump clear. Heffel decides to soccer it. Handball finds Stewart. Getting in the way was Whitfield. McCoon lobs the handball. The fans hoping this one goes through to give them a glimmer of hope. Fantasia celebrates with the fans. Plenty of time to peg this margin back. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Swatson is in his possession. Constant pressure and rewarded. McGrath looking a bit sluggish out there. McGrath just threw it. Dug it out. Green throws the ball away. Puts boot to ball. Takes a strong mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Gathered by Cameron. Just put it on the boot. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Gleason gives the don't argue. Got the hands free. Just gave it away. Sweeping handball. Gets a quick kick away. They can create from this. Great attack on the ball carrier. Hacking it out of there. Wins the race to the ball. The ball spells to McDonald, Tip and Woody. Nice work from Ambrose. 20 metres from home. He goes for broke. That looked great. What a goal. Ambrose enjoying that goal. Essendon closed the gap to 23. Thrashes it. Merritt keeps coming. Shipley a bit too casual with the tackle. At full stride, receives the handball. Kaplan over the top. Got boot to ball. Williams, a better man there. Chose to kick it. Langdon grabs that one. Quickly onto the boot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Moved on by Welfi. An easy grab for Ambrose. Essendon would love to make the most of this opportunity. Danner marks uncontested. Going for goal number two. Just hits the post. And a minor score. Essendon closed the gap to 22. GWS Giants have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Kept alive under pressure. A good job keeping it in play there. McKernan has a teammate on the move. Well collected. Perryman just dismissed the tackler. Applying the physical pressure. Whitfield making his way onto the field. Ball up calls. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Gets it away. McKernan gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. Going for goal number one. What a fantastic goal. He's excited about that one. Essendon have three in a row. They have lifted their intensity. Thumps it clear. He gets his hands on the footy. He's got the footy in his hands. Somehow got the handball away. Welfie links up with a chance to run. Using every ounce of energy he has left. 
Smith with the opportunity in front of goal. Kicks it long. A race for the loose ball. Hands that ball to the opposition. Decides to kick. Off hands. Cork keeps it moving. Handball finds Canelio. Goes off the ground. Links with hands. He's having a big game right now. He's setting the example at the moment. Townsend puts another one through. Look at them celebrate that effort. Essendon have four on the trot. Just two goals in it. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Essendon are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help. Kick by Taranto. Great mark in the pack. Langdon wants to play on. Hands that ball to the opposition. Danner puts it out in front. They can link up now. And the umpire says, my ball. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Scoops it up. McDonald, Tip and Woody might have overworked himself there. Pretty happy with that one. Essendon behind by four. Jacobs got a fist to it. Just gets a boot to it. Goes off the ground. Ball up in the centre square. Hammers it. Cutluck slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Shipley will be the recipient of the free. Lining up for goal. 50 metres from home. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Drops the ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hello. Dug out by McDonald, Tip and Woody. GWS Giants get home after an incredible match. Your final word on today's game, Gary. It's such a confidence-building win. If you get out of a game like this with a win, it makes you think you can achieve anything. Final scores are 57 to 53. That's the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Thanks, Hello. Until next time, that is.